Hey, hello everybody. My name is Raven and this is the Raven's Nest where we talk about all things budgeting, lifestyle, and planning. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you are new here, happy to have you and I hope you stick around and subscribe. Now my returning viewers are probably like, girl, where have you been? Well, don't worry the life update video is on the way i'm filming it in sort of like a vloggy vlog kind of style uh, with a little bit of talking and a little bit of seeing kind of what is happening around this crazy camp but don't worry more to come more updates so i felt like a good reintroduction to my channel would of course be the debt confession you all see the title of this video we know what it's going to be about it is about my debt confession so lots has went on in 2022 let me just tell you lot lots happened um and one big portion of that is did a lot of spending emotional spending and it just yeah it just completely got out of control but like i said more to come on that in my kind of life update vlog um probably in the next couple of weeks or so just to give you all kind of an insight and kind of what's been going on and how i've been feeling and all those things and just all things updates on raven so what we're going to do today is i'm going to be doing my debt confession where i'm going to write out all of my debts and kind of talk about my plan of attack for tackling this debt because it's um it's bad y'all <laughs> it's bad so if you are interested in seeing this debt payoff plan of attack as well as my like I said, my debt confession where i have landed then stay tuned all right so first let me give a little bit of a backstory on kind of what what i want to say what led to this but kind of where we where we let's just say where we started as you all know last year in february i closed on my house um i have been that's a goal that i have been working on for quite a while and Finally accomplished that in February of 2020. I went into this closing. I walked into the closing office. We're going to say that. The only debt that I had walking into the closing office was my car. That was it. That is the only debt that I had. And all my credit cards were paid off. I was looking good. I was looking lovely. So let's fast forward a little bit to what happened post-closing. <laughs> so as some of my... um current subscribers and viewers know i was um not only saving for um a down payment closing costs i also had different sinking funds set up for like furnishing the house and all those kinds of things i think i had roughly like maybe oh i don't remember it was somewhere between like six and eight thousand dollars somewhere up in there um for furnishing the house which of course this is my first house and i know what people are gonna say girl please i thought that that was like really gonna be enough to get me going um i'm gonna say it got me everything i needed as far as the basics it did but there were several other things many other things that were needed that and just the things just started to add up and that's kind of where the emotional spending came in it's like i wanted certain things and i was looking um kind of online and looking at other people's instagram pages and looking at other people's houses and just all like oh i like that i want that and you know just kind of wanting things the way i wanted them again i'll go more into detail and more into depth with that on the life update video but essentially i blew through the furniture the furniture sinking fund blew through it yep it was gone and then from there but i at least got all my basics with that all the basics were covered on that um I just didn't start doing a bunch of other spending and that is where the debt came in <laughs> so i had i'm gonna say after i closed i only got i got three new credit cards after closing yeah three new credit cards after yeah three i got a wells fargo um what was it called it was a wells fargo recharge or re somebody uh reflect reject something it was a wells fargo credit card which that was, that's my that's my very first wells fargo credit card because i bank with wells fargo but that was my first credit card with them and i got a home depot credit card which that one has been paid off and i will say this debt confession 
it does not include debt that I accumulated and paid off in 2022. Because I will say I accumulated so much more debt than this, what you're about to see. But I paid off a significant portion of it in 2022 as well. So like I said, I had the Home Depot credit card, which I put some money, I put lots of charges on that. But that one has since been paid off. And then I think the third card that I got was a Wayfair credit card. And that's going to be one of the ones we talk about today because that joint still has a balance. Lower balance it had than when I, what I put on it, but it still has a balance. So, Kanan, you are just very rude. Sorry, that was my dog. He's sitting back here. He just decided to just, you know, yeah, he decided to, yeah, do that. But anyway, so we are about to start with our debt to pay off plan of attack. So, this again uh, is a freebie that I created. I will link it below. I haven't quite decided on what exactly I'm going to do because I have a couple of other freebies and things and I don't want my description box to get all cluttered up. So what I may end up doing is creating a resource library and like linking that. That's what I may do instead of just individually linking the different freebies because it like I said I don't want my description box to get all cluttered up. So either I'm gonna have the link for this freebie down there along with the other freebies that I have or before I post this video I may combine it all into like a resource library and then link the resource library. So look for either that either the link to the resource library or the individual link for this printable. Either way it's gonna be free. So what I have here, like I said, is just printable, made it real kind of quick myself, and it's my debt payoff plan of attack. So when you have this debt payoff plan of attack printable, what you're going to do is, of course, you want to gather up information for this as far as like all of your debts, everything you have. Then you kind of want to have a discussion with yourself, with yourself and decide, are you going to, like, what is your going to be your plan of attack? Like, what is your method? Um, some of the more known ones is the debt snowball, which is where you pay off your smallest debts to your largest. And then there is the debt avalanche, which is going to be your paying off your highest interest down to your lowest interest. Or I have on here, you know, however you choose to do it, however you want. Um, some people kind of look at what their credit cards like the interest rates are some of them have um like zero percent interest for a certain amount of time and although that one how it may fall in your plan like if you're doing the debt snowball you may have this one card that maybe falls towards the middle of your plan but it's a zero percent interest card and you need to pay that joker off in the next 12 months <laughs> or it's all that interest is going to add on and i have i think two situations like that but i'm still going to probably run it like a debt snowball and try to maybe work in like extra payments towards that one like don't do that one in order of the debt snowball and that's going to be the wells fargo card because that one i got it it's it was a zero percent interest card you get zero percent interest for 15 months and then if you make on-time payments i think for 10 months or the, for the first 10 months you get three or five or something you get some additional months of zero percent interest so i am on track to get that additional three months or five months, whichever it is, of additional 0% interest. So I think that technically, if I don't want any interest accumulated for that card, I want to say that it has to be paid off by November of this year, maybe December. Once you add in the extra three months, I can't remember. But anyway, um, so like those kind of things, you want to consider all those kinds of things when you are talking about what method you're going to use for your debt snowball. Um, Debt snowball versus debt avalanche, it just really depends. You know, you may want to go with the debt avalanche because you may have a higher interest card and your monthly payment is like way up there. So that way, if you were to knock that, if that was the first one that you knocked out, that debt with that high interest rate, that's going to open up so much more money for you to get that done. Um, now, you can start one way and then flip it. You know, it's just, it's really how it works for you. Um but me personally, I'm going to go with the debt snowball method with a few tweaks <laughs> that I talked about. So let's go ahead and get into writing out this debt. All right. So y'all know I always have to turn my paper to the side because I'm one of those people that just writes like that. All right. So first debt coming up is going to be Kohl's. I have had a Kohl's credit card for forever. It was probably one of the first credit cards that I got 
once I improved my credit from when it was in the toilet some years ago. And I think I started with like a $300 limit. And now fast forward, I think I've had that card maybe six, seven years at this point. And I now have a credit limit, I think of like 7,000 or something like that. And um, I rarely ever use it. You know, if I want to give me like a few new extra like you know like, you know t-shirts i try to keep the card active i'm gonna say that so i usually only use this card when i know i'm gonna spend anyway but i'm gonna instead of paying with cash i just pay with my Kohl's card and then i turn around and pay it off so this one is going to be paid off relatively quickly because the balance on it is super low so the interest rate on the Kohl's card is 24.99 percent the starting balance on it currently is 100 $15.24 and the minimum payment on it is $29. So moving next to our second lowest debt, that's going to be Amazon. Again, I've had an Amazon card probably as long as I've had the Kohl's card. And again, it's another one of those cards. It's just kind of the limit has increased in it uh, for as long as I've had it. So the interest rate on that one is 19.99%. The current balance on it is $316.63 and $40 is the monthly payment. Next up is going to be a card. It's called Upgrade. I've had this card since before I closed on the house. I want to say I got this card like back in 2020 maybe. And I used it for something because I was I was getting something and they had like a little offer where you apply for this card and you get something. I can't remember what it was, but I used it to make that purchase and then I paid that purchase off and then I never used the card again. Well, I, I just recently used the card for something. So it now has a balance on it. Um, and the interest rate on this one is 29.49. 29 and the minimum payment for that one is $27. Next up, number four, is going to be my Amex card. And I truly hate this card with a passion. I honestly think once I pay it off, I'm going to close it. Because I just, I, I don't know. I'm just really over this card at this point. Interest rate is $29.99%. And the current balance on it is $1,675.82. Minimum payment, it fluctuates because it's not like a traditional revolving kind of credit card. It's it's a charge card is what it is. So it, the minimum balance, well, the minimum payment on it is based on my purchases and all of that stuff. So the minimum payment for that one for this upcoming month is $100. $47.22. And number five, we have Wayfair. Again, this is one of those cards that I actually got what after I closed. And I got it during a promotion. So the interest rate on it currently is at 0%. And I believe the 0% interest for this one ends in November. So I need to pay it off before November. Which shouldn't be too hard the starting balance on it is one thousand seven hundred sixty five dollars and nine cent and the minimum payment on it is thirty one eighty three next up after wayfair we have the apple card i had the apple card before i closed on the house but i never used it um well i'll say this i used it but i didn't carry a balance i never really carried a balance on it um I used it for a lot of things post-closing and throughout the year of 2022. So, yeah. It currently has it has a credit limit of like 5,000 and you're going to see the balance in just a second. So, the interest on it is 26.24% and the current balance is $4,074.88. Minimum payment being one twenty nine. Next up, we have Target, and I'm gonna have to say I've done really, really well. I have stayed out of Target all twenty twenty three. 
<laughs> we are now on day 14 of 2023. So, I mean, I'm, I'm making some, I'm, I'm making some changes, y'all. I'm making some changes. So, I have stayed out of Target all 2023. But 2022, Target had me in a chokehold. So, my Target credit limit is like seven or eight thousand dollars the interest rate on it is 24.99 percent and the current balance on my target card is five thousand five hundred seventy nine dollars and eighty six cents y'all i'm so disgusted i just really am and the minimum payment on this one is 224 so we just gonna breeze on by let's not talk about it no more next up is my car and I did not get a new car after getting the house. Um, I still have my same car. I just have a balance on it. And I don't know what my interest rate is on this car. That's bad. That is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Let's see. Bad, 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 bad. Bad Raven. You don't know. You know what? I don't know. So I'm going to have to come back and um, add that in later. Because I don't know. I want to say my interest rate is like four percent or something like that i don't know but the the balance on it is seven thousand nine hundred what is going on with my pm seven thousand nine hundred seventy eight dollars and eight cent my minimum payment is 284.21 and then last but certainly not least at all we have good old wells fargo and the Credit limit on this card, when I applied for it, I, and this was the very first card that I applied for, like maybe I applied for this card maybe a month after my closing, sometime in March. And when I tell you it is like the highest amount that I've ever been approved for on a card, and I'm actually kind of scared to even keep it <laughs> once I pay it off because it's just, I, I, I don't know. I may end up uh, using it for... um and it's the Wells Fargo Reflect card. I think it's called the Reflect. I can't remember what I was saying before earlier, but I think it's called Reflect, I think. Um, like I said, the highest card I've ever been approved for. What I think I may do once I get my stuff together here, I may actually use that card for like all of my daily purchases and um, subscriptions, you know, things that I'm gonna pay cash for anyway, and then just, you know, pay the balance off each month. But I gotta get this stuff under control first. So. The credit limit on this card is about $15,000 in all. And that's not from increases over the past year. That is what they approved me for the day I applied for the card. And what is currently on this card? Well, let's go. Well, let's talk about the interest rate first. I got a 0% interest rate, like I was talking about earlier. You get uh, 15 months, 0% interest. Yeah, 15 months, 0% interest. And then if you make on-time payments for the first 10 months, then they add another like three months or five months on top of that um, for additional 0% interest. So I think in all, as long as you make your payments on time, you get a total of 20 months of zero interest. So this card currently has zero interest. And I, I really want to say that that one is like due to end... I really, really, really want to say that that one is due to end sometime at the end of this year. Somewhere up in that fourth quarter. I can't remember. But, like I said, $15,000 credit limit. And the current balance on it is $8,570.45. I don't know what is going on with my pen. Well, it's losing ink is what that's what's happening. It's low on ink. The minimum payment for it and the payment on this one is lower than any of my other payments simply because of that zero interest. So the payment on this one each month is only $83. But that is because it's currently zero interest. So I'm not being charged any interest on that $8,000. It's going to hurt me when I am. <laughs> So I need to get that together. All right. So this is the state of 
affairs with my debt currently. So let's go ahead and add us up some totals here so we can kind of see what we working with and all. And you all are going to see first reaction to this because I have not done this. I have not totaled this up like this, to be very honest. And you all are going to get a lot of that when, um, when I post my life update where I've been, kind of what's been going on with me. You're going to get all that in that video. But um, I have not been budgeting. I probably, I mean, I budgeted in a sense of last year is none of my bills were late. Like I still kept up with when bills were due and paying them on time. I just, yeah, it just, like I said, you'll get more information on it. But so I have not even done this, like adding up to see how much debt I'm in. And this doesn't even account for my house. Um, or my student loan debt. I'm just, I'm working on the house, of course, because I'm paying my mortgage every month. Student loans, they just, they in a whole breed of its own. They in a class all by themselves currently. So we just not even gonna um, talk about them right now. We'll we'll talk about them later. I'm, I'm trying to prioritize. I'm not ignoring the student loan debt, but I am prioritizing my life currently my financial life at this moment and right right now i'm prioritizing this consumer debt and so let's go ahead and calculate up these totals lord so we have 115 24 for kohl's 316 63 for amazon 698 44 for upgrade plus 1675.82 for Amex plus 17.6508 for Wayfair, $4,074.88 for Apple plus $5,579.86 for Target plus $7,978.08 for my car plus $8,000. $570.45 for Wells Fargo. Y'all, God, I am over $30,000 in debt. I just, and I did this to myself. I did. I totally did. I did this to myself. Y'all, I'm going to have to get a part-time job. That's just what, because that's going to be another life update y'all going to get. I, most of my probably, you know, OG viewers probably remember that I did have a part-time job that I was working on top of my full-time job. I let the part-time job go, y'all. I did. Um, it was just a lot going on. Like I said, you will get all information in the video about what's been going on with me, but I'm going to have to give me another part-time job. That's that, that's going to have to happen. So, because this, this is, this is, yeah, this is just too much. You know, I'm not going to write it at the bottom because... Yeah, I'm not going to write it at the bottom. You know what? I am because I'm going to tell myself that I am not getting in any more debt. We are going to put a line through this here because I'm not I'm not accumulating any more debt. This is my manifestation to myself. I'm not I'm not building up any more debt. I'm not I'm not doing it. Sorry, y'all. I'm just I'm not I'm not doing that. Y'all, my pen is dying. It is dying. Like actively perishing before my eyes. I need another pen. I need another pen. Um, why don't I have a pen up here? I mean, I have I have pens up here. Like, y'all should see my little pen wheel. But I need a black pen. I have a lot of colored pens and pencils and you know what we just gonna use what we got it just ain't gonna look pretty nope I can't use this I can't see it um I need I need a black pen I need a black pen help oh, y'all I'm gonna have to go look for a black pen this is ridiculous okay I found another SGL pen I'm just gonna have to get it started. Come on. What what is what is going on? What is happening? Okay. 
Y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. This pink. I cannot make this stuff up. Anyway. Anyways. We are at 30,700. I don't know what is happening with all my pens. This is a brand new pen. Like brand new. Okay, I think I okay, I think I have fixed it. I think I fixed it. I'm like, what is happening with life? Okay, thirty thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollars and forty-nine cent. <laughs> I don't understand. I just opened this. So let y'all know I'm not playing. This is the one I was using that was dying, and this is a brand new one. This is a brand. This is a brand new pen, and the clicker is messed up. This is a. Okay. Okay. You know what? Okay. Okay. Anyway, so this is where we are. Total debt. And yeah, this is nearly almost as much debt I was in before I got my credit together. I had completely messed up my credit when I was in like college and in nursing school. My credit was jacked. I had a lot of credit card debt. I had about 50 something thousand dollars in credit and like credit card and payday loans and all, all kind of stupid stuff. So this is almost close. To, this is near that. I, mm, mm, mm. Raven, what what have you done? But we're we're gonna get it together. We I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overwhelm myself and say that I'm going to pay all of this off in 2023. But I want to strive to make a significant dent in this in 2023. That that is the ultimate goal. That is the plan. Uh, well, long term ultimate goal is to, of course, pay this off completely. But plan for twenty twenty three ultimately is to put a significant dent in this debt here. Um, if I can pay it off, that would be amazing. That would be just lovely if I could pay it all off. But I will be satisfied if I can make a good significant dent in it for 2023 and kind of move into 2024 a little bit differently because I'm going to tell you, moving into 2023 was a little shaky for me. <laughs> it was a little shaky, baby. It was a little shaky there. So we, we going to see. We going to see. All right, friends. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up for a like. If you would like to support me, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you do not miss any more of my videos. Okay, bye!